Oh, but that's why you should always read the instructions. And I was like, what is this water dripping on my head? Ran down into my mouth. Then I realized. What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Life of a Jobbing Plumber. In tonight's episode, we've got a boiling tap to install. But I've never done this brand before, so. Take note, always read the instructions. No. <laughs> anyway, we post, for those who don't know, I am Dan, also known as Central Eat King. We post on a Tuesday and a Thursday at approximately 6 p.m. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, why not? And if you do subscribe, you'll get notifi notified of them videos. So it make your life easier as well. well. Let's get into it. Right, so this one is changing this tap for a boiling hot water tap. It's currently got a waste disposal unit fitted to the sink and in the instructions for the tap, that needs to come out. Maybe maybe the boiling water would damage it, I don't know, but either way, that needs to come out. I fit in this kettle, kettle, don't know how you say it, boiling hot water tap. All I can tell you, it's a bloody big box. <laughs> it's got a water filtered system as well on it, so it's kind of a four in one. to get that out now so basically how that worked was take that out of the way that see which way around that way around locks in to these locking points here so you have to just basically twist it around and it drops out and then there's this little clip attached here which you just have to prise open and that'll release the top part of the plug first time i've ever done a macerator so that's a bit of a learning curve but yeah, that's ready for um, proper strain away now. Let's get this tap unboxed. This is a nice uh, full bore insulation valve. I don't know what it's for yet. Got a ton dish. No idea. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on this one. Everything's bagged up, nice. Reveal. Who sent a box spanner? <laughs> Let's get this one undone first, the old one off. Oh dear. Looks pretty straightforward enough, I think. I'll get the new tap dropped in first then. I don't know, I might have a filter maybe. God, the hardest part is getting all four flexes through the same hole without damaging anything. And then a wire. Basically these are hand tightening, so they're using your spanner. Um, they put them over the top of the nut like that, slide them on. If it's the right size, it's probably the wrong size. Like that. You just tighten it up and then leave it, leave it on the pipe afterwards. You should about to see them here. Let's take them over there. <laughs> A bit different. Oh, just got the mounting bracket of the um, tap on. But I didn't bother filming it because it was hard work. And I was like, what is this water dripping on my head? Ran down into my mouth. Then I realised. <laughs> That's the tap all bolted in now. now so I'm going to do the easy bits first. So that is just a hot and cold, which is obviously blue and red on here. 
going to tighten them on to the old ball fixes and then that's for that bit. Done and out of the way, and we'll probably move on to this filter. To which there is a spare isolation valve there. This one on the cold, I don't know what that's for. I think it's had a hot tap before looking at this piece of solvent weld they glued over the pipe. I'm not sure though. So that's the hot and cold connected back up. This is a drip tray. That's what the new boiler tank has got to sit on. I just realised I didn't use these. Never mind. Just tying on my spanner. For that red tie wrap is there going onto the machine here. Now then, I'd have presumed that's a blank. I say I presume there'd be a washer in there, which there is. Remember to put this on this time. It's quite handy as that, to be honest. <laughs> I like it. Just looks a bit crap afterwards. You get this little elbow which pushes on like that. Here's on here, this is just steam and you blow off. two hands and then that is basically wherever the rest of it is but yeah that's basically gonna be cut into the waste pipe using this don't even need a drill that just tightens into there and cuts our hole for us really good idea just mounted the um filter one of these connections and it's that one that one is gonna go up in the top of there. It's pushed in the top of there now, and the one with the green tie wrap on is going to go back to our tank. Colour coordinated, there's a green sticker on there. Try and get that round, something like neat. What a shambles. <laughs> they just look a mess, don't they? Right, so that is basically our going to our waste outlet. This one here. He's connecting on to that full bar. So I think we're going to take this out, elbow across into that, put this little plug goes into this little filter timer. Just stick about there. There's Velcro, little Velcro tabs. So street elbow straight into this isolation valve for the filter. Done. Now all I've got left to do on this is the hard bit. Now the problem is we've got this humongous stand pipe, which I can't cut down because it's solvent welded. The lowest part of the pretty what's it called? waste pipe means it's going to be right up tucked up there that's the only place i can get it which obviously it's got to be that long because that's like standard 300 mil before the first bend of any unvented cylinder but that is basically where it's going to have to go i'm going to have to cut off this here get rid of that and start again because look how short they've left that i would never get anything on that so all this is going to have to be re-ashed. First, I'm going to drop the strainer in. The debate that will go on till the end of time. Do you silicone your waste? Or not? This is a handy little tip I seen on Blue Bulldog's YouTube last week. 50 pence piece. Perfect. The overflow reconnected in. I had to cut a bit off because it was too long, but 
some people I notice will let this droop down and then back up and then it gathers water then like a trap, it starts to smell. So you want them short so they fall back and can't hold the water in that. You don't have any sitting water, should I say. Just thought I can't put it there after the traps. It allow smells back up through that. What I'm thinking is repiping it, moving it to over here into its own trap. Something like there. Right, so my plan was straight out of the pipe coming out the wall into a T, into another T, in elbow down, but I haven't got a street elbow, which I need because of the height there, across here into a stand pipe. And the dishwasher connection into the trap there. But because I need to get that a normal elbow in that, I think I'm going to have to use this trap and put that dishwasher connection into the stand pipe too. That's all screwed up now to regs. Left that in. Double T's underneath there. <sighs> right, let's get the water turned on. Need hot and cold to test this. I've got to prime the tank first, it says do not plug in. I'll turn power on until water flows from the tap. Just got to bleed all the air out first. Got to turn water on to it first, you idiot. So I've just turned the water onto that tank and purged the air through. Which I realised I was doing the wrong way at first, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes 20 minutes to heat up. So turn green now that's ready to use so on this forward is cold water press the button in and back you buy in seven minutes and this is the instructions and that is a non-return valve oh my god i even said i was going to read the instructions at the start of the video oh but that's why you should always read the instructions so it had a non-return valve in that tall section of tundish pipe it's obvious when you're looking back at the video as well there's an arrow on it but i didn't even look i didn't read the instructions I, I glanced at them you should always read them so i didn't need the stand pipe or the trap but i also did need to alter the waste pipe and, and bring it over so i'd still need it to fetch the pipe over anyway to connect to it meh we know for next time, and you can learn by my mistakes, and always read the instructions. Anyway, 
thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't clicked like already make sure you give it a like drop me a comment down below and uh consider subscribing if you haven't done already catch you on the next one